Ain't living, but we could run from Elysium and let it. good one so basically the first one is what is your mindset when hitting a PR honestly I I like to like ask God for strength um like when I'm like sitting on a bench like before I hit my PR I ask God to give me his strength give me his power to get through this and I ask if I don't hit it I understand that your timing is better so that's basically what I try to do. It's not every time, but that's mostly what I do. Um, as you guys saw in today's video, I tried to hit 195. That went like halfway, not even halfway, like a little bit more halfway. I honestly, I'm giving myself two weeks to just fully on power, like power lift. And um, that's basically what I tell myself. I try not to think of something angry I just feel like I get less angry because of that and it's better for my mental so that is number one all right question number two um how do you prepare yourself for the gym uh basically I I'm I try to pick out a fire ass gym fit um after that I make sure my camera and my beats are charged and try to have my iPhone fully charged and I always have a backup for AirPods um and I just like being prepared I like having my my camera bag prepared like everything I want to like have everything prepared so I basically have everything in my backpack I have all my stuff ready to go I eat at, I try to eat at least an hour before the gym I especially like to eat pasta so I would eat like a hundred grams of pasta and like um fravioli I think that's what it's called um sauce and I like to basically you know eat that an hour before the gym and then going to the gym I like to eat a rice crispy I either eat one or two I don't I haven't took pre-workout in like two like a month and like two weeks um I just haven't had money, so I need to buy a new pre. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna buy huge supplements or alpha line. I don't know which one yet, but those are the two that I'm like debating on. 
but I normally would take pre driving there and then I don't really stretch I'm, I normally stretch after but yeah that's basically tip that's my question number two all right question number three is what goals do you have for this year for the rest of this year um so my PR goals is bench press um 225 I'm so close I'm 190 I'm almost at 195 so we should hit 225 by the end of December hopefully before December squat is 315 we already hit it so um there's no like I'm trying to go up and then deadlift is 405. We're at 345. Um, like I said, we're just building up. I am bulking still, so I hopefully should be good by the end of the year with my PRs. Um, another goal is uh, um, bulking. I want to bulk up to 180. That's the goal. 190 would be like the best goal. But those, that's like for diet. Um, by the end of September, I'm gonna increase my calories to four thousand, which is kind of scary. Um, another goal is to be on no fab. Um, I'm gonna go for thirty days, and then if I do thirty days, I'm gonna keep going up. I'm on day one right now. It's embarrassing, but I'm still trying. Um. Mm, I'm trying to think of another goal. Oh, um, hit a thousand followers on any social media platform. I am at three sixty something on. Let me check. I'm at three something. I'm at three seventy on Instagram. Thirty more followers, and we're at four hundred. I'm gonna grind my booty off to try to get a thousand on Instagram, and then at YouTube we're at. Let me see. Let me see. We're at two sixty. So. Um, hopefully we should hit that a thousand by the end of the year. Hopefully I'm going to grind my butt off and it's weird because my TikTok got age restricted because I posted a picture of like my first ever, like the first day I went to the gym and apparently I got age restricted, age restricted. So I'm pretty pissed about that. All right. But question number uh, four, what is your life goal? Like, what is your whole goal? I mean, um, I basically, after high school, I want to bulk up to 220. That is the end. That's the goal for high school. After, yeah, after the end of high school, 220. I should be 19 by the time I'm up there. And then I want to cut to 190 and then cut even more. And I want to see how lean I got. And then I want to see how lean I can get. And then I want to have a job and hopefully the YouTube and Instagram, I hopefully get a sponsorship by then. Hopefully I get, I start getting money off this, what I'm doing right now. And then with that money, save it up and invest. And I don't know if I want to go to college. Like I want to invest in property and then like remodel it. And then rent it out to someone, if that makes sense. Like buy it, rent it out to someone, or rent like remodel it and sell it. Those are the two. And then I want to build like a big home and like make it a complex. So basically, other multiple people living in there. I want to do like at least two houses of those. It's gonna be hard, but trusting in God, I believe it, it can happen. And with that money, hopefully on social media, I get even bigger. And I keep getting bigger, hopefully, and basically just, what's it called, um, from there, invest in prop, like, my, not my own land, but like, basically, invest in property in Texas or Oregon, one of those two, because I know Oregon, you don't have to pay taxes at all, but then in Texas, the property is cheap there. So I don't know which one I would pick, but I would pick either one of those two and then buy tons of land. Like I'm talking to build a gym and basically courageous apparel 
I would name the gym Courageous Kingdom and then have like basically be a better version of Alpha Land. I am manifesting it. I know I'm going to do it one day and I just can't wait to experience that. But then also make money from the apparel. Um, I'm still working on it. I'm working on designs. I'm working on the website and I'm just saving up money right now to invest in the machines to build to like make the clothes. But then after the money with the gym and the clothes and YouTube and then invest in like a hundred, a hundred to 200 acres of land. It's always been a dream of mine to build my own house, wife and kids, build my own house, see it building up, writing our names down on the wood and just building our dream house and then buying horses, dogs. And like dream cars and living my best life. That is my motivation. And I just want to. Basically my childhood. I never had fun. I always stayed home. Parents never went out. They would always be tired of work. Never got to hang out. Never got to experience my. I haven't even experienced my first football game. My first baseball game. No game. I want to be able to take out my kids to the park. I want to be able to take my kids out to a sports game. And just stuff like that. I want to do that with my kids. I want to be able to have dinners with my family. Dinners with my kids and my wife. And like Christmas. Like waking up Christmas morning. I never got that. I have at least three Christmases where I spent it, spent it at the flea market. At my work with my dad. So I want to be able to have my kids. I want to, I want to see my kids live the life. my The child that I wanted basically and that's what my motivation is for the gym and then build my dream life and basically make videos make a family con like channel like alex kind of but that's like what question number five four i don't know question number six how do you he how do you oh, i typed it wrong or i didn't read it right how do you deal with the haters um, I honestly don't get that much hate. I do get hate, but I just don't get as much. Like, at school, there's kids always, like, they're always, like, because I bring a gallon to school, and they'll always be, like, oh, like, my thing has, like, a certain time to drink, and sometimes they'll be, like, oh, you're not at that time, you need to drink up, or just stuff like that. You can tell it's envy, and it's weird, because, like, I brought. I was the first one to bring a gallon, and then everyone now is starting to bring gallons to school. It's pretty funny, just people following the trend. But um, like I said, um, in Instagram comments, I honestly love reading them. Like, it motivates me because I know I'm doing something good. They wouldn't be hating on me if they didn't realize I'm doing something good. I watch so many videos on motive, on how to deal with hate. I honestly love seeing hate comments. That makes me so happy. Like, um, and shout out to my boy, uh, JT. I sounded so weird saying my boy. Shout out to JT. He, he was defending me. I really appreciated him doing that. And it's weird because I, I, I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know if I talked about this, but on Instagram, these two guys were hating on me. And I basically fell asleep. I posted it like at 5 in the morning. Because I couldn't sleep. And then I went to sleep. Woke up at 7. And all I see is just hella comments. And I got like a thousand something likes. And I was like whoa. And I just saw two hate comments. And I just saw them going back and forth. It was pretty funny. But it's like. Why would you. Focus on the two people that are hating. And then all the other people who are like. Oh my gosh this video. Like helped me out. Oh I love this video. Thank you. And stuff like that. Don't focus on the hate. They're just, they're, they're your biggest fans, honestly. Um, but that is question number five or six. I don't know. All right. Last one. Cause this video is getting long. Um, um, I'm trying to pick a good one. Ooh, what is your dream girl? We already have mine.
But if you guys want like what I look, I'll say what I look forward in a girl. Number one, going to the gym. <laughs> Duh. Um, two, understanding, supporting, like, basically, like, she, like when if I lag or something, if she understands I'm at the gym, I'm focused. Then you know, she understands it. Or if I'm editing and I tell her I can't FaceTime, she's like, I understand. Keep grinding or something. Keep going. That is so nice. Um, three. She tries to help out. Gives me ideas. Send me videos on tips and stuff like that. That is amazing. Um, motivating. Um. Lovey dovey. And basically that's it. But yeah, that's basically a short little Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this. Um, Go follow the Instagram. Go follow TikTok. Why well, need to make a new TikTok? Because my account got banned. But go follow the Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Subscribe right now. Follow, go add the snap. I don't know why you guys don't add it. If you guys want to see stories, funny stories, get to know me more personally. What else? Um, leave a comment. Um, if you guys made it this far, leave a comment like saying like, mm, I, on, add a comment and put the devil emoji. Just that. That's how I know you guys fully watched it. I want to see. Last time I said that, no one put it, so no one watched it. But it's fine. But like I said. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys like these videos. And also let me know if you guys like the new upload schedule. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. I like it way more. But like I said. Leave a like. Subscribe. Turn on all post notifications. Share this video with your friends. Repost it. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Peace. Dang that was a long video.